This is the solution to quiz three. Okay, so write write the following set in interval notation. Okay. <coughs> so to carry this out, uh, I'll add two to all positions. So add two, add two, add two. And if you do that, so negative four plus two, that's negative uh, negative two, uh, less or equal to x, and then less or equal to eight. And then writing this in interval notation, uh, that would be negative two to eight. <coughs> Perform the indicated operation, okay. So this would be, uh, I'll draw a picture, so negative 2 to 5, I'll draw a number line, and then 2 to 7, oops, this should be, this one is open, 2 to 7, another number line. Okay, so now, of the four endpoints, negative 2, 5, 2, and negative 7, negative 2 is furthest to the left, and it's closed, so negative 2 is here. So of the remaining endpoints, ne uh, 5, 2, and 7, 2 is furthest to the left, but it's right of negative 2, so I'll draw it here, and it's open. Of the remaining endpoints, 5 and 7, 5 is furthest to the left, and it is open. So this is that interval. And then the last endpoint here. And this is the other interval. We want to find the intersection of uh, these intervals, which is to say, uh, remember that intersection means and. So that is to say that we want uh, a red point and also a green point. So therefore, the intersection of negative 2 to 5 intersect 2 to 7 is 2 to 5. So plot the points on the given axis. Okay, so call this the red point. So negative 2 and then 3. So negative 2. So 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3. So this is the red point. I'll call this the green point. So 4, 9. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, um, so there's 4, 9. <coughs> Plot the line segment that's connecting the points. Okay, so that's this line segment. So that's part B. Uh, find the distance between the points. Okay, well, this can be done in a variety of ways. So one way to do it is, is sort of just by counting. So that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the change in x is 6. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
change in y is, uh, is 6. So using the counting, just count, count in. By just counting, we can see that the distance should be the square root of the change in x squared plus the change in y squared. So the distance should be the square root of, uh, well, they're both 6. So this is 36 and another 36. So this is 2 multiplied by 36. That 36 can come out of the radical that is 6. So this would be 6 square root 2. So the counting point of view tells you this. What if we, what if we just use coordinates? Well, then we could do it like this. We could say, well, the distance formula takes this shape as the square root of something squared plus something squared. And then we can route the individual pieces in. So <coughs> this is an x, so it goes here. And this is an x, so it goes here. And then this will have to be a minus because we want the difference in the axes. And then we'll also want the difference in the y's. So this one here. And this one here. And a minus. And carrying this out. So that'd be square root of, okay, so that'd be negative 2 and then minus 4, square that, and then plus, uh, that'd be 3 minus 9, square that. Well, that would be negative 6 and then square that, that'd be 36. That would be negative 6, square that, and that would be 36. So, two times 36 is under the radical, so the distance would be six, square root two. In either case, either method is legitimate. Okay, so the last one, So plot the endpoints. Okay, so then I'll call this one the red point. So one three, so one and then three. Red point. Okay, I'll call this the green point. So three and then one, so one, two, three, one. the endpoints and the diameter. Okay, so the diameter means the line connecting them. Okay, and we want the circle. Plot the circle. So there's a circle with this center and that diameter. So it also has this point must be on it and that point must be on it as well. So it says clearly label. So that's the red point. That's the green point. Uh, the blue is the diameter.
all of the blue. So for part C, calculate, calculate the center. So you can see from inspection of the plot, the center is 1, 1, and that would be fine. Uh, or you could understand that the center must be the midpoint of these two points. Uh, so you could do it like this, the midpoint. And say that, okay, <clears throat> well, uh, the center should be, the x coordinate should be the average of the x's, so 1 plus uh, 3 over 2. And then the y coordinate should be the uh, average. <laughs> I said you could see it by inspection, it's 1, 1. Okay, so no, by inspection. <laughs> Gotta inspect a little more carefully. By inspection, it's 2, 2, right? So 1, 2. Uh, so the average of the x's plus the average of the y's are, are in the average of the y's in the other coordinate. That will also give you, so 4 over 2, that's 2, and 4 over 2, that's 2. <coughs> and that's the answer.